would be a Malone, Malona, the, the, <laughs> I can't even call it, the Manola Blonics. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Odette and I do fashion and lifestyle and personal development videos. So today I'm sharing my 2021 luxury wish list with you guys. So yeah, if those are the kind of videos that you like, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the, the notification bell so you know every single time that I upload. So let's get straight right into this. First on my wish list, I would say is by Lady Dior. So in the one, it was actually featured on my wish list for last year, but that one was the mini one in the, I think it's the iridescent, oh, what's the name for that one? It's like the iridescent pink color. There's actually a name for it, which I've completely forgotten. I wanted a mini one. But now that I think about it, I think I actually prefer Lady Dior in the My ABC line or size, which is the next size up. And that one, I saw it in the mint green. So I checked recently and they no longer do the mint green. So my guess is that it was for, it was just for last year and they've kind of discontinued it. I'm going to still do my best to see whether I can source the mint green via personal shopper or something like that. If I can't, then I would go with the iridescent pink. I just felt like the My ABC wasn't, it's not a very big bag. It's not a small bag. So you can kind of transition it between day and night and the mint color was just a very pretty color that would go with a lot of items and uh, yeah I just that's still very much on my wish list but let's see what I can get hopefully again there are other stores that still sell it next on my wish list would be the Antigona in a mock crop when I think about that bag I literally want to cry because last year I saw the bag on vest there at an actually decent price compared to the full price now I don't know why I wasted so much time in buying it and then I lost it that's actually Actually a bag that is very hard to come by on the pre-loved market you don't easily see it for a decent price because it's a very sought after bag and I want that bag so much so yeah I will still be on the lookout for it I don't believe in buying Antigonas firsthand just because you can get them for really good value on the pre-loved market so I would just probably wait it out and potentially find that one third on my list would be the Prada re-edition bag I do like this the look of it I love the size I love the fact that it's a shoulder bag but the only issue that I have with it is that I'm not a huge fan of the strap maybe I need to try it on in store to be convinced but I'm not a huge fan of the strap and I would only purchase it if I could literally swap out the strap the strap and um, maybe connect a chain strap to it maybe I have to purchase a gold chain strap to it and make it make sense I don't know if I can do that this is just me thinking about options and how I can wear that bag if I was to get it but if I can't do that then I'd probably completely remove it from my list and actually find something that allows that flexibility for me so the new stuff on my wish list the college a white medium bag from Saint Laurent that bag literally is an amazing bag I don't have any white and gold bag in my collection and I definitely want one so I just decided that I might just go ahead and bite the bullet and get the um, Saint Laurent bag and the thing about this bag is that obviously Saint Laurent had a price increase last year I'm so upset because now it retails for 1700 previously it was 1500 so it's one of those things that I just feel like I wish I would have gotten it but it is what it is it is a 200 pound increase to be fair if 200 pounds is ridiculously too much for me then maybe i shouldn't be buying the bag at all and that's just the reality of it but yeah so that's definitely on my wish list it's probably one of the things i'm gonna try to get asap thought on my list with a small red lulu puffer bag like i mentioned before i really don't have too many colored bags in my collection and i like that red in particular because it can go with a lot of beige colors white black it, it's quite a versatile red you know that the different shades of red and some of it is a bit you have the orangey red you have a pinkish red but this one i would call a true red and obviously it comes with a gold hardware which i absolutely love i love gold jewelry etc so that one is definitely right up there for me after that would be the cassandra ysl bag so that's in the canvas um bag and i want the mini size so that one um i feel like that's a great summer bag to have i love the contrast between the canvas and the leather trim on it so the brown leather trim on it it's such a pretty bag i know i said i'm trying to stay away from brown bags because i have quite a bit of them but i feel like this on its own is quite a unique bag it's such a lady bag and the other thing about this bag is that it has a top handle which allows that versatility if you want to take out the strap i think the strap is detachable if you want to take out the strap and hold it as a top handle is perfect otherwise you can hold it um with the strap next on my list would be a malone malona the, the <laughs> i can't even call it the manola blonics and specifically i am going after the hangisis i feel like the most 
shoes that I see in people's shoe collection is either going to be a Malona Blahnik Hengisi specifically or is going to be the rock stud so from Valentino and I do want a rock stud but I'm not super crazy about them they're really pretty shoes but I'm not super crazy about them I feel like I want the Hengisi is what I want that for the Hengisi I wanted it in a, either a red a black or there's like a I don't know if it's a shimmery silvery shimmery color that one I think out of all the colors that one before I actually purchase it I would have to try it on to really see how it looks like in person because it's hard for me to tell but that one I kind of have my eye on it because I feel like that's that is going to be a versatile shoe after that the next item that I have I think this is the seventh item on my list okay this one literally just popped up I would say about a week ago in my list because I made this list maybe towards the end of last year and this item was not featured on it but yes it made its way through um and that is this I had no plans to actually buy any Chanel this year by the way but when I saw the 21p collection I couldn't help but be in love and I'm specifically talking about the Chanel 19 or the classic Chanel bag in the caramel color and I know that's completely sold out and it's just impossible to get that because yeah if you wanted it you should have gotten on the train much earlier but I'm still hopeful that bag obviously speaks to my heart I know no more brown bags but I feel like if I can have that brown I my brown collection or my brown or beige collection would be complete basically because I do have quite a bit of brown bag but I have I don't have this kind of brown and this is such a unique brown this is the perfect shade of brown I don't know how feasible that's going to be because I have other financial commitments but it's on the wish list just let it be there just let it rest um hopefully we can manifest the money which can help manifest it into my life the next bag that I have is it's going to be one of these three and I haven't quite decided so I was looking at the Valentino tote bag so that's the brown one with the red sole so you can see where my liking for the caramel came from because I put it on my wish list sometime towards the end of last year so it's either this one or the Elia bag again that is the laser cut bag I think it's the 32 Mina and this one again is in the brown color or most recently added to that category is the Loewe tote, the anagram tote, basically I said anagram, the Loewe anagram tote that literally popped up on my Instagram. I blame Instagram for this. I don't even know why Instagram thought that I had to see it, but they put it in front of me and I saw it and I didn't. I was just like, yes, I want it. And I really like this one because obviously this one comes in a few sizes. I haven't decided which size. I feel like this is definitely something that I have to go into the store and try it on to be able to decide which size that I want. I wanted that bag because it kind of reminded me of the Celine canvas bag. And I've wanted the Celine canvas bag for a very long time. I think the Celine is still cheaper than that one. But I feel like a lot of people have the Celine bag and I question whether a lot of people are going to go after the Loewe anagram tote. They may or they may not. I don't know. But again, this one has the strap and it has a top handle. I hope the strap is detachable because if it is, it makes it the perfect bag to actually own. Perfect shopping bag, perfect travel bag. So the next item on my list is a belt and Chris, specifically the Christian Dior brown belt. So initially I wanted the Gucci Marmont brown belt, but because I already have the black one, I got the black one for my birthday. Day. but in hindsight I think I would swap the Gucci Marmont and get the brown one and instead get the Christian Dior black belt just because I feel like more people have the black Gucci Marmont than they do the brown and so again yeah I might go ahead and get the black Christian Dior belt sell my Gucci Marmont black and then get the brown Gucci Marmont belt if that makes any sense, hopefully you understand. Next item on my list would be a Loewe puzzle bag. And I want a trio color. I don't know which one just yet. I feel like some of the other trio colors that I've seen, I actually really like them. Specifically one that I believe Hilo Locks bought. I'm gonna put a picture up here if I can find one of that, but that's an amazing bag. I pretty much want something like that with a lot of bright colors. The ones that I'm seeing now, again, have a lot of browns, neutral tones, and I already, that has already been fulfilled by my current collection and I don't see the need to go ahead and get another brown bag. I prefer to get a multicolored one because that's what's missing my collection now. So I've just put that in in case um, Loewe comes out with a new collection this year and has 
a really bright trio color then I might go after that otherwise if I'm not gonna get that then I would most likely I would want to replace it and I know this is not a I feel like I'm comparing apples and oranges right now because their price difference is just ridiculous but I feel like I would replace it either with a Chanel bag so that's the Chanel 19 bag and I want it in the yellow color which is from the 21p collection the recent 21p collection or a Bottega Veneta bag again not entirely sure what color I would go for but I'm still kind of on the hunt for that so I feel like it's a bit crazy for me to have all kinds of things because I haven't quite made up my mind but I really like all of these bags and I just really have to decide which one because I obviously can't get all of them another item that's on my list would be the Fendi scarf so Fendi they have three colors that I'm after so they have a black one they have a like a rose pink and they have a beige one I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna pick I am more inclined to go after the beige one because again a lot of my it would go well with a lot of my clothes but that's still to be decided and the final item that I want is a jewelry I don't know which jewelry I want what I want a Chanel hoop earrings what I want a Louis Vuitton hoop earrings but I feel like I am missing designer jewelry like gold earrings or something like that I'm beginning to fall in love with big earrings again and so I feel like it's about time that I get a designer one since I see that I genuinely like it it's not a game it's not something in my head I love wearing this one all the time so that just makes perfect sense so that's it for my luxury wish list I feel like I kind of cheat all the time because instead of just giving one, one item I give a couple of items I'm trying to make the wish list not look too big because I obviously cannot get everything from here but that's my luxury for wish list. I'm very curious to know whether you guys have any of these items in your collection or whether you're planning to get any of these items. So yeah that's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching to this point. If you enjoyed this video then go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to my channel for more fashion related content as well as personal development content and go ahead and follow me on my Instagram because I post daily inspirational fashion pictures for you guys. So yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.